Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Ooh, this looks nice. Hey, no, I'm not, well, hey, I might use this caulking today. I think, actually I will. There's a little bit left. There's about this much, yeah, about this much left. And that might be just enough uh, for me on the project that I'm gonna be doing. I just, I just finished up all this. I put the basket sink strainer in, hooked up the sink faucet, hooked up the, the soap dispenser, hooked up the garbage disposal, hooked up all the piping underneath there. And I did that, of course I got that on my, on my uh, videos on a previous episode of Kano Renovations. And what am I going to do today? Well, it happens to be in this bathroom and kaboom, I don't have a sink here, do I? We had a pedestal sink there and we decided to uh, remove it and reinstall the pedestal sink after we installed the new flooring, after we painted and all that kind of stuff. And I got it out here. It's been sitting out here for a few months now. See, it's just a white porcelain freestanding type sink. This gets bolted up to the wall. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And here's the base of it. This, this square container and there's a U, it's a U shaped and it's open on the back side. So you set that down first. Set this on top of that, and this gets bolted into the, the wall. And then I'll put my white silicone uh, caulking around it. And I know exactly where it goes because I decided not to clean off and scrape off this, this uh, caulking any more than I had to when I got uh, ready to repaint because this tells me exactly where the edge of the sink is, right? And I'll just follow this and then make sure this line is up nice and straight. And uh, that's where the, uh, the bolts are, are gonna go. So if you wanna watch that, stick around. Now, of course, the first thing I have to do is move all this, this stuff here. And the sink gets screwed into the wall. And I was trying to be, trying to be careful with the brackets and you see, here's a big long screw and it had a toggle screw, uh, wing nut on the end. And when they unscrewed it, that popped into the wall. So I went to the store and got a new toggle wing nut that fits on here. That's gonna go on one side. And on the other side, they had this. See, this is a lag bolt. And this side hit, hit uh, wood inside the wall. This one, they had plywood behind this for backing, but I guess they decided the plywood, they didn't want to just screw into the plywood. I would have just screwed a leg bolt right into the plywood, but for some reason, the flunky who installed this decided to drill a hole all the way through the sheetrock and the plywood because somebody said, hey, use the wing nuts. Use the toggle bolts with the, with the wing nuts on them. And he went to drill this other side through the plywood and then he hit a stud. This happened to go into a stud. And that's gonna be tricky in itself to try to get these in there because there's not much room. There's not much room back here, see, to get your wrench in there and stuff. And I'm gonna have to get a little, a little crescent wrench in there. I might, I might even have to get a, uh, no, I can get a crescent wrench in there on that side. But see, this side is a screw. And I'm like, how am I gonna get a screwdriver in there? I think I might have a little stubby screwdriver. And if I do, I can use that. But if I don't, I thought, how am I going to, uh, you know, I can, I can screw it in there a little bit, but how am I gonna tighten it up? And I thought, I'll just take the, uh, the bit out of my, out of my uh, battery operated drill. Okay, the little bit and put in there, and then I can use that to kind of twizzle it a little bit, and then I can take my little crescent wrench on the bit and tighten it up that way if I have to, okay? Hey, one way or another, I'll get it, I'll get it. So I've got to, I've got to uh, move this stuff and uh, make sure there's no caulking, some old caulking on the back side of that or on the, on the base and all that. I clean this stuff all up and get ready to go. Hey, stick around, you might learn something. Hey, since I'm using the old 
sink, I could take a few measurements on it, and of course the, the faucet's already installed, the drain is already installed, and the water lines. I don't have to uh, hook up the flexible way up high or anything. And so I'm just going to reinstall this. Now I cleaned off all the caulking. Usually you'll see caulking around here on the when the base pedestal comes up when you after you set this on there and bolt it to the wall and stuff then you can then you can put some caulking on that and they had caulking down on the floor too and I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not but then there was caulking around the back side and give me a chance to clean all that kind of stuff up and um, and also wipe it down of course I got my simple green here and then I measured from the base from where the wall is on up and it was about 12 and 3 quarters so that tells me uh, 12 and 3 quarters where the caulking was so that that tells me um, when I put that base on I'm gonna be about 12 and 3 quarters away from the wall and that's where I'll set it first before I carry this in okay you see you see that little amount of room right there that's all I got to put the to put the uh, uh, screws in there and then to get a wrench in there and stuff everything's kind of tight but that's how it is when you do a pedestal sink and we thought we would leave the pedestal sink uh, reinstall the pedestal sink because it's just a half bath okay this is just a half bathroom and it comes in off of the front door and guests are just going to be using this it's not going to be like do we really need to put a cabinet? I mean, we could have put a cabinet in there and then a countertop, a new sink, a new faucet, and all that kind of stuff. But then it makes this little bathroom look that much smaller and tight. You know, with the pedestal sink being the same color as the toilet and, and all the, the uh, chrome fixtures and everything, and you'll be able to see underneath there and along this wall and all that. Um, it's just going to make the bathroom look a little bit bigger. Now granted, you're not going to have much of a countertop there, but you don't, you don't really need a bigger countertop than, than what you got on this. For, for guests, you know, they're not going to need all kinds of stuff. A, soap dis a little hand-held soap dispenser and uh, some, some soap or just a soap dispenser, that's it. You don't need anything more than that. Now if that was in a kid's bathroom, of course I would not put a pedestal sink. I've seen, I've seen some HGTV shows in a kid's bathroom where they have a pedestal sink and it's like, you got no counter space. And it's just not very practical. But for this purpose, it is practical. And here's the base, okay? So I'm gonna set that I'm gonna set that, uh, let's, let's just kind of show you kind of what's going on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this, this out there. And I'm just gonna kind of center it in here. And it's, see it's not gonna go all the way up against the wall. I've gotta get my uh, tape measure, I'll be right back. We'll take a couple measurements. You know, this is just a, a precursory, I'm not going to install this just yet. I'm just kind of getting my bearings and figuring out having a game plan for when I get ready to install this sink. Well, I just got done using this caulking from DAP Quick Seal Ultra, and it's usually for kitchen, bath, and plumbing. And it's important. This is gloss white, and it's an advanced siliconized sealant 100% waterproof and crack proof stays looking clean fresh and new all that good stuff and remember I told you I was going to caulk underneath this edge which I did before I before I installed the drawer so that that all looks nice and finished I even did underneath here granted the stove's going to go there but I didn't want to have that not Finished and I finished underneath here before I put these on and even under this right here see see how nice and clean that looks and I did it under the section over here and stuff and it's important to realize if you're going to use silicone not all silicone is paintable so when you put this on you got to put it on nice and clean and neat and smooth and even 
you can wipe some off, but you can't think, oh, that's okay. When I get done, I'll just paint over it. Because see, this one here, see there? Sealant is not paintable. So you've got to look on different caulking. If I was going to want to paint more around the, the baseboard edge or around these corbels and stuff, and I wanted to uh, uh, put caulking around there knowing that I'm going to paint, I would put a different caulking and I would get it to make sure that uh, I could paint it. Because see, there's a couple, there's a couple spots over here I have to go over because he put he put uh, silicone, 100% silicone uh, down in here. And he's, he got some on the wall. I had to scrape it off. I can still feel it. It kind of sticky here after, you know, a week. More than a week since, since they've been gone after they installed the countertop. I try to scrape it off the best I could. And then I'm going to put some white caulking over that. That's paintable caulking. I didn't want to... You know, if I would have put this stuff over it, it wouldn't paint. And a tip for you is if you happen to not realize it and you put 100% silicone on something that's not going to paint, like if I were to put that on the wall right over there, over that other silicone, thinking that this stuff was going to be painted over, and if, and if the paint just kind of bubbles and, and kind of beads up on the top, you know, oh shoot, it's not going to... It's not going to cover. You can wipe the paint off. And then after it dries, get some paintable caulking. And put that on over it. Just use your finger and kind of use your finger as a paintbrush and, and put it on there, let it dry, and then you can paint over that. Okay? So there's a tip for you when you're using caulking. And, and I like to use this when I'm doing finished uh, trim and stuff. If I know that everything else is, is painted on it and I just want one clear, uh, one clean, bright, gloss white, shiny white when I get done, I'll use something like that, okay? And uh, if it's going to be painted over, then I'll use something else, all right? There's a tip for you when you're doing your caulking.